Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Next video, 365 day magic challenge. I'm going to try to get these in a line here. All right, so we got a, another trick today from tricksandwands.com. This is a psychic thimble. Really, really great trick. Now, normally this would be done with a spectator, and it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot better with a, a spectator here, but since I don't have one, we're just going to, uh, I'll fill in with the spectator as well. So, first, I want you to see you're going to assume when you see the trick that the ball is magnetized to the wand. I want you to see that the ball is not, there's no magnet to, to the wand at all. It doesn't, it's not magnetic at all. Now, if there was a spectator here, they'd take a thimble, put it on my finger, and give it a twist, and then sit, set it back down. Since there's no spectator here, uh, I'm gonna turn my head as I do this. Now, I'm gonna turn my body so that uh, I can't see what thimble I choose, and I don't know what order they're in, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead, I'm gonna, do that. All right, now I'm not looking, by the way, so um, we're going to put the ball under the thimble, and I'm going to try to put the thimble back in line here. I have no idea if I can. I think it goes right about there. Okay, I'm going to turn back around like that. Okay, so the ball is hidden under one of these. Now, I don't know which one, but I'm going to try to figure it out here. Again, this is a lot better with a spectator because you would have your back turned the entire time. You wouldn't uh, be able to see it. All right, I'm going to try to, I'm going to see if I can find out which ball, which uh, thimble has the ball under it. I don't think I picked up the end one. Nope, not that one. All right, let's try again. And not this end one either, no. All right, I'm going to try one of these here. You know... I don't think I put it under one of the Christmas color ones, but I don't think I put it under red. So that leaves blue and that leaves green. Let's see. Blue. There's the ball. All right, that's Psychic Thimble. Again, I'm sorry. The trick is really good with a spectator because you don't know where the ball is under. And I, and I didn't look, so I really didn't know which one the ball is under. But the secret's very, very clever. I can't go into the secret, of course, but it's a very clever secret. And uh, this trick will always work for you. So you always turn your back to the audience and then they, you do it and they do, what they, tell, they do what you tell them. And then it always turns out to be you know which one has the ball under it. And that's why I had I made a big show of saying, look, the ball is not magnetized. Because every time I perform the trick, people always think the wand is magnetic. So that it knows where the ball is and it just kind of pulls towards it. No. So that's the best thing about the trick is this trick is fully examinable after the audience has seen the trick. And they can try the wand and their magnetic theory and see that it's not magnetic. So really, really cool. It's a Psychic Thimble. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next Magic Challenge video.